Hey traders, this is Jeff, and I've got lots of charts. Uh, probably gonna have to break stuff into two different five minute videos. First one, I'll be talking about the general markets, some interconnected markets, and then the other one, I want to look at some world uh, markets and uh, kind of go back and revisit some chart patterns that I was look I was seeing months ago, seeing how they played out. So. First thing is another day, uh, another you know down market. Uh, I I was talking yesterday about how if if we could be down in the morning, that would be a good thing. Uh, but that would only count if the markets were able to stage a uh, afternoon rally to close the highs. Today's outcome in my opinion, was probably the worst case scenario because we closed below the, uh, I believe it was below where the Fed met yesterday and there was all that craziness that went on. So to me, I look at it and whatever good news or whatever, however the news was perceived yesterday, you can just toss that aside. Markets obviously didn't really like it that much and it's looking forward to the next catalyst whatever that may be so I think the longer that we stay down in this well there's actually a little bit of a, uh, a triangle pattern forming that we kind of broke through uh, on my Dow minis chart I don't have it on this computer and and so I kind of think we're gonna have another gap down tomorrow uh, let's see here this is what I love about the three line break chart this is for the NASDAQ, is it really shows you uh, exactly the trend. There's no guessing in this. There's no like, well, yesterday rallied, today went down, but we're still above the lows of Tuesday. Th I mean, this really tells you what the trend of the market is. There's absolutely nothing bullish about the markets right now. And I just, I don't advise to being a dip buyer. I still stand by. I think we're going under 10. I think we're going down to about 96, 97, but you know, who knows? I may have to revise that down when we get there. Here's a chart of the uh, uh, daily NASDAQ, and here's something I know about this uh, ADX indicator here, is as long as the negative DI is above the ADX, is above a rising ADX, above a rising ADX that is that has this trajectory that's rising this steeply there's absolutely no way the market can rally point blank you can tell by the the counter channels were were underneath them so obviously we you can expect a snapback rally like yesterday but i think that snapback rally is going to be the one to get short there's absolutely nothing in the markets that tells me that any rally is going to be sustained. Just take a look at this NASDAQ uh, weekly chart and you can see we broke through this trend line. We are now on our way down to the uh, under 30 level. This is almost assured, assuredly going to hit and that's just going to essentially seal the deal that we're going to be trading negative to down, uh, sideways to down for for quite some time. And you, also you can see here the ADX on the monthly chart, the ADX is starting to turn up, and this negative DI, look at this. This is just, this is going to pull that ADX straight up, and selling pressure is just going to continue. Uh, rising bearish wedge on the TSX, very bearish. Not surprised to see this break down uh, tomorrow at the earliest. I was talking about this pattern here. Uh, maybe three weeks ago, I don't even remember. I was saying how this was starting to look like this, you know. And you know, this is not a case where I'm, I'm glad to be right. I would much rather trade uptrending markets, and uh, I'm not a doom and gloom guy. A trend is a trend. You know, you, you trade it just the same. Uh, one other chart before I wrap this video up is the dollar. It's having a falling bullish wedge which would actually be bad for the market. So I would be looking for this to break to the upside, even though it makes absolutely no sense for the dollar to rally. Completely counter what makes sense. I'll see you in the next video.